What is up everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the Oculus Quest 2 with the link cable and we're playing Undead Development this time. I've had this game for quite a while but uh, the only reason I'm jumping back into it is because I'll pop a little thing up on screen during editing but um, Undead Development 2 has been announced and it's coming out I believe this year, I think it's Q, like quarter 4 of this year. So we're just going to jump in, unfortunately this is a fresh save because um, I haven't actually played it since building my new computer, but yeah, it's just, it's, if you don't know what it is, it's like a cartoon like zombie survival where you've got to like, get stuff from around your environment and almost, I guess, just survive in a zombie apocalypse. And the cool thing about the game is with the hammer, you can basically just nail anything to anything. It's like just just by hitting it, and you you can make some in, like insane weapons with this. So I guess uh, I guess let's just jump straight into a level. I don't know how good of an aim I'm going to be because I haven't played this game since having the quest 2, so, uh, yeah, if I'm bad, then please forgive me for the minute, uh, I'm going to jump into the, wait, it has saved, I, I have played this on this computer? I don't know, but, but okay, but, oh, tips, first step, scavenger, some well, if I have played it, you wouldn't be giving me tips. So, there's a gun. That's always good to keep on you. Okay, I also saw some ammo. So I probably should say, oh, it's a hammer. Nice. That's actually pretty, de pretty decent. Oh. Okay, as I've just done that, yeah, the whole, like, whole land is destructible. Then you can use this as like um, barricading for the for your world or for your main hub, which I believe in this world is well, obviously the old house. So oh, ho, ho, that could come in useful in the later rounds. So I'm not actually going to use that yet. And also, if you put stuff behind your back, I believe, and then let go, yeah, it will drop it down there. Because you, you have like a backpack on, but all of it just gets instantly teleported. And I did see another pistol. Oh, this has got a lot of ammo. Nice. So, let's go explore the place. I'm not 100% sure. What? Ah. I'm... That's annoying. I'm going to assume that you can use that to blow up a bomb. I've never seen that before. Is there anything over here? There's some ammo. That's good. The uh, thing that I do want to try to do, because the more that you survive, uh, you can get upgrades and different weapons. And I believe you can get a chainsaw with one of the upgrades, which would be absolutely amazing I'm gonna try and keep like all of the little pistols on me just for now because in the first couple of waves you don't really need like much gotta keep making sure that it doesn't actually go into the backpack ah this is this is good this can be used for the barricades and yeah, thankfully you don't have to like jump on the ground and do it because if you just hit the grip button, um, it brings out that little line and you can just pick stuff up from that. There's a box. Ooh, gotta try and reach it. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Let's try not to punch anything over here. I don't know if I'm on camera anymore because I don't actually know if that was in my place. Um, I'll send both of those back to the thing. Okay, I also don't quite know 
I can't gather how long I get to set up. I think the first one is you just get in for the time. It's another battle axe. Well, not a battle axe, like a fireman's axe. I'd probably want to keep one of them on me, actually. Can I put you in... There we go. Trying to find that sweet spot is a little bit annoying, but... Shotgun! That's going to come in amazing in the later rounds. Especially because I think it's a double power rod as well, which is pretty nice. If I do say so myself. We'll go over here. Some more ammo. Ammo is always good because you don't want to run out of ammo. Because if you run out of ammo, you're going to be in for a bit of a sad time. Grenades. They actually come in quite useful in the later rounds as well. Because, well, when you've got a lot of enemies coming at you, you kind of want to um, have grenades. I'm break down this whole bed quickly. Something I don't actually do very often is I don't actually like, do much base building in this. Oh, that's going to be kind of useful. So... Just to show you the base building, if you were to say we grab this, I can go over to, there's some ammo there, I want to get that ammo first. <laughs> there's a box, I don't want to pick the box up. But yeah, you can like, um, say you like put that on there, then you just get your hammer and just hammer it into the wall. Uh, I'm going to grab it on the left hand, I can just do that. Oh. And then another thing you can do is you can like hammer stuff like this at like neck height. But stuff does actually have like a blade edge. So I'm not actually gonna do it. Because if I was to hammer it that way, it wouldn't really cut them very well. Uh, this is a little gun. It's a little teeny tiny gun. Anyway, I'm gonna start the first wave. Probably shouldn't have put that there. Actually saying that I've got this little bit that I can just be like, you know, anybody there? Where am I facing? I'll try and keep facing towards my desk. But yeah, I can just be like here and just be like, hello. Ah, oh, Sam out there. English. Oh, there's a bear trap there as well. Hmm. If I can. Can that be sneaky? If we... Hmm. So what, can I like... Okay, that was not meant to work, but it worked. Where are the zombies? Oh, there, there's one. What am I facing? Okay, I'm facing my desk now. Headshot. Oh, the proper handler. But yeah, the, the first few waves are nothing to worry about really because not many zombies spawn in. Hello. I hear one I don't see one. Oh there they are. What are you doing? Do you mind not attacking? Oh, hello. Can I... No. No. Oh, yeah, I got him. Can I get that one away over there? Oh, I did hit him. I shot his leg. Oh, no. Oh, hi. I do have to make sure. I've got one bullet left in there. But if you bring your hands down, like, behind you, it reloads. Is that the last zombie? I oh, know there's another one there. Can I like right angle it? I can, but it doesn't really work very well. I didn't want to reload, but okay. 
That's one brother. We use one of these guns. I think you can also. Yeah, you can also take stuff off the wall with the hammer. That's good. How are you. How? How are you staying there? No, I'm not gonna question it. Um, dude, I feel kind of bad for you. Let's just try and put you out of your misery. Right. Okay, now the waves just start automatically. Did I get another like nail in there somehow? I don't know, and I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know what I've done. Can I not? I physically cannot get rid of that. Okay, good to know. But yeah, we do have to be careful because there might be some zombies still lying around on the place. Oh, there's a military crate over here. Oh, the backpack. Back up. Back up. Hi. Uh, not really anything useful. Not gonna lie. Can I pick that up? Wait. I... I don't know, wait. I don't know. I might try one of them in a minute. Do you have to like mount them somewhere and then can I like blow it up? Or do I have to like... Do I have to arm you somehow? I don't know. I'm not gonna question it. If anyone knows in the comments then please let me know what they do. I got another hammer. I'm gonna take that hammer. You look like a different hammer. You are a different hammer. Are you more powerful? Who knows? Uh, but yeah, uh, stuff does respawn as well. So we can run around and might find some new stuff. We should do a double teleport. Okay, it starts in 10 seconds. I believe it will automatically teleport me back to the house. I believe, yeah, it automatically teleports me back here. Your quest to use batteries, like. Oh, this happened in the last video I tried to record. This happened in the uh, Rick and Morty video. How is it low? I charged it. I don't know what I'm going for. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try and prolong this. I'm gonna get this quest to last as long as it can. Probably because of the amount of Beat Saber that I've been playing. I think I played Beat Saber yesterday. So yeah, I'll probably end this round and um, Tell you what, we're trying to kill a few of these and then when I see one last, I'm going to make this last round. Because then I can go back into the, um, go over here. When I go back into the thing, I can show you the level up options and what. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, this one's good just for just mowing down enemies. I don't actually have any more ammo for that. Great. Oh yeah, now the running ones start to come. Got you. Can I hit him from over here? I actually hit him. I fully shot that guy. Hi. The box for me, how nice of you. Actually, uh, something I do want to do as well. I want to show you the bear trap. I just like mount this here. I just mount that there. And step back. The bear trap actually works. And then you can also. Ow. I haven't got any weapons on me. I just punched Bye. something out of it. Okay, I'm Whoa. facing a really awkward direction. But yeah, you can 
Oh, yeah. so, um, uh, I'm not worried about what comes to the letter. You can also reset it by using the trigger button. Ah, uh, hi. I'm gonna die without using the one. Bye. No more shotgun. Shotgun. Reload. Shotgun. Yeah, this is a double, double power. Uh, I use a grenade. Oh, I have got a choice now. I got. Oh, hi! Well, that got rid of long. It also broke my own hands. Can I? Oh, oh it's not going ammo in it. I don't know if that's the last zombie or not. Make sure. Oh, wait, it's on there. Might be the last one behind me. Hi. Um, just so you don't annoy me, I'm gonna shoot you. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say you're the last one. All right, come on and kill me. Yep, there you go. Uh, what way am I facing? Uh, over here. Where are you going, sir? Yeah, you get a level for. I think it's. Yeah, your kills kind of add to the level. Uh, so if we go back home, we're back here. Uh, you can use your points to do some levels up. So uh, we've got three, so we can get uh, new melee weapons. I could have got snipers. Oh, uh, so lanterns and flashlights can now spawn. Grab new defense supplies. Uh, let's get assault rifles. Because I believe that with that, they also spawn in over there as well. Like, anything new you get, you can always like come over here and just check, like test it out. So that works pretty well. And we also got melee weapons. I'm not 100 sure where melee weapons. Born, to be completely honest with you. I mean, there's crowbar in here. Why can't I just pick crowbar up? That's actually pretty cool. I don't think I've ever been in it. What's in here? What is that? Oh, it's just two guns placed on top of each other. Why is there a mini car in here? Why? Okay. I dropped my gun. So yeah. yeah. If any of you have like a Steam VR compatible thing, because I believe Undead Development is only on Steam. I don't think it's on the Oculus Store, but it doesn't really matter because you can connect an Oculus headset up to Steam VR fairly simply. Just uh, I think you've just got to launch it and then it'll appear in your thing. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to... I'm just going to come out of VR and actually talk to you guys properly. That's actually annoying because I was going to record another video in a minute, but I'm going to have to charge the headset first. So, <laughs> I'm putting glasses on because I can't see anything. So, I hope you all enjoyed and if you did then drop a subscribe down below because it's completely free and it, it doesn't cost you anything. And helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see. Um, also, if you want to see more of this before the uh, Undead Development 2 comes out, then drop a comment or like down below and I'll play some more of it. Because I have the power with the Quest 2 now. Because you can probably actually see, uh, but there is the Rift S. Um, I've fully moved on to Quest 2 because I much prefer it, because it's just a lot easier when the only issue is when that battery dies, but you just charge it up because it's got, I think it's got two hours playtime. So anyway, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.